Castle Freak is an earthly paradise. It stands at the top of a hill overlooking the Atlantic. Crockner, a green hill, separates south and west views, and Galley Head is the boundary to the south. On the west, beyond a beautiful line of miles of coast, the pointed stags shut in the world. But in between the old world and the new lies the mystic island of Moimel, land of happy departed spirits to be seen on clear days by the eye of faith. At night, a moonlit path leads thither. from a young lady I'd never heard of who said that she would like to come and see me because she'd been writing some music about Castle Freak. I love music and I love Irish music mostly so uh, it was a natural thing for me to say well why don't you come and play for us and let's hear the music. And one evening we had about eight or nine members of our family uh, gathered around the fire and uh, uh, Jessie and her two colleagues uh, played and sang. And I found myself staring at this young lady uh, who I'd never met before, but who had a deep, almost spiritual connectivity with the history of uh, um, Castle Freak and the people that lived there. There's, a, there's an uncanny connection here, uh, which I think speaks loudly. Um, so, uh, it's with, without more ado, I hand you over to uh, the experience of this evening. Thank you, Jesse. Jesse had been playing violin with me for a bit. She just said, I've got these songs about, some of them are about the, Car the Carberry family. <laughs> Initially there was only, I think, about four songs and it was just, just going to be an EP and that was going to be the end of it, and just, just to do it really. But as we, as we kept going, it took on a whole new life, so yeah. Well, uh, we remember Jesse uh, playing Nigel Kennedy's violin in the rented house we had in Dublin. So it was wonderful to see Jesse come up through the years. This is a this is a fully realised project for Jess, Jesse, and it's really good. It's uh, a coming of age uh, for her, and I hope the rest of the country appreciates it. realized she was doing this project but I do know that if you feel something's right and you are the creator the chances are it is right certain projects that just are blessed and I feel that about this one Jessie's a fascinating woman because she just she's very deep and she's she's got all these very very strong ideas artistically but she kind of lets them all out as whenever they just want to come out so you don't get it all at once it was a, journey, a definite journey of like discovering her and becoming a great friend to her and at the same time discovering these women and the feeling that they were kind of guiding the process as well 